Hi there. Welcome to Susie's World. What I eat on a typical day. Well, not a typical day, a day when I'm being really healthy. So I thought I would share some health tips with you to see what you can incorporate into your diet with my nutritionist hat on. You don't have to eat all these things, um, but this is me on a good day. I'm not good all the time, as you'll see. Um, so, well, to show you how bad I am, the first thing I start with is water. Hot water with lemon is the very best for waking up your digestion. But I drink a big glass of water first thing. Then I have my black coffee. I ha only have two a day, one in the morning to wake my brain up, and another one at two o'clock in the afternoon, which they have found, scientists, is the best time to have your second caffeine fix. Then, much later, if I'm being really good, I will make a juice. And this one's full of beetroot, cucumber, celery, red pepper, yellow pepper, apple, every vegetable I can find in the house that's full of antioxidants. So if you haven't got a juicer, get one. Um, if you've got a juice place near you, then you know where to go. And if you're doing it already, I don't need to tell you anymore. Um, breakfast wise, and I don't think there's anything better than an egg. It's a complete protein in that little, little hen. Hens laid eggs. Um, complete pro protein meal in an egg. So I think that's one of the best travel meals. I mean, you've actually got a whole meal in there in one little thing. Um, as far as snacks go, rather than hitting the donuts or pastries, take some almonds with you. Make sure you've got almonds or other nuts in the house. Almonds I particularly like because they're very high in calcium especially if you're dairy free, you need your almonds. And another little snack that I go to is goji berries, known as happy berries by the Chinese, because they're supposed to prevent depression, which is really good. They also make an awesome snack. Another thing that I can pass on to you, which is a really good idea first thing in the morning, if you have a sluggish colon, try soaking a tablespoon of golden flax seeds otherwise known as linseeds, overnight, make sure they're golden, overnight, and they will really get the colon going, clean it up beautifully, and give you a huge boost of omega-3. I call them nature's oestrogen, nature's oestrogen, nature's HRT, because they're so high in natural oestrogen. So give that a go, either for your hormones or for your colon. And talking of omega-3, this is probably my... F I don't eat red meat anymore, but I do eat a lot of fish. And salmon is top of the table when it comes to omega-3 rich foods. And so is mackerel and so are sardines. You probably know them all. But omega-3 is so important. I can't say this enough for every cell in your body. For healthy skin, for healthy hair for healthy joints, for a healthy heart, most importantly. So get into your omega-3 rich foods. And avocado, a really healthy fat. People think it's fattening, but it's like a really good version of a protein fruit. So I would certainly recommend one of those a day. If you want to go wheat-free, may I suggest quinoa. It's spelled quinoa, but it's pronounced quinoa. A wonderful grain from Peru, which is extremely high in um, protein, much better than rice, and perfect for people who want to go wheat-free. And if you want to go dairy-free, almond milk or soya milk. Live yogurt in the morning is a good one to have, unless you're dairy-free. And you can get amazing cheeses. You can get goat's cheese and sheep's cheese and buffalo milk cheese. And they're all better tolerated by people who can't tolerate cow's milk. So give that a go. So just to prove, and lots of water during the day. So just to prove that I'm not entirely healthy, this is how I end some of my days with a lovely glass of Prosecco. Because it's quite low calorie and it's nice and dry and very low alcohol content. I only have a drink from... Ooh, I don't drink from Sunday to Thursday, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday is playtime. And even better is champagne because that's very low in yeast. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed.